36 out of 100 women represented with the circles in this board have experienced physical and or sexual violence from an intimate partner at some point in their lives. Pick up the phone and connect the audio jack so that I can tell you the story of one of them. This man with whom my mother was married and who biologically is the father of my three siblings and I never lives. He constantly comes back to her, even in the memories. That man embodies the absolute representation of domestic violence. My mother married young with her first boyfriend. After leaving all her childhood in a house where violence was the common law, escaped the sinister home in which she lived oppressed with her first spring charming was seen as a reasonable solution. The lack of parental support, the humiliation of leaving us alone in a supermarket, jealously, obsession, the screams of every day, the oppression of living locked in a four walls serving without receiving anything in return, the lies to not pay for a book hiding under his, I have no money, I am a clerk, when in fact he was manager of the legal section of one of the largest banks in the country. My mom decided to stay with us in exchange for nothing but pain. Eventually, as often happened in these cases, psychological violence turned into physical violence towards her and consequently towards my siblings and me. In the ward of a hospital was my mother, with blood all over her long blonde hair. The nurses asked with concern, how did this happen? Her husband sees her and she immediately replies, I fell. My partner has been physically and emotionally abusing me for about 12 months. It started with pushing and shoving and taking my kiss when I wanted to leave. He was very insecure about past relationships and jealous of people he thought were a threat. We would have evenings where he would be drinking and start accusing me of being a whore, amongst other names. It would go on for hours until he would fall asleep. The next day, it was always the same. He was sorry, and he didn't know why he said and did the things he did. I believed him at first, but after the third time, I knew it was a mistake and I had to get out. The final straw was the worst behavior. Hours of verbal abuse and name-calling, and then he became violent when I tried to call someone. That night, it dawned on me things will never change. I had to put myself first and do what was right for me. How could I let myself be hurt this way? This is the end of the story. However, 13 out of 100 women agree that an intimate partner is justified in beating his wife or partner under certain circumstances. 13. How might we decrease these alarming statistics? How might we teach kids and adults that violence is never a good answer? Let's do something about it. Anything.